This is nice. This is so nice. I would be doing that. So, I thought Paisley is good. It's busy. Yeah. Right, OK. So, so who's, whose beach sort of costume oh, would you go for? So beautiful. I mean, obviously, we can't all have the beauty But you can there. buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to write another book to be able to afford it. But. No, I think there is that thing about going on holiday, and, mm. and I so agree, because it's like you just go, no, because of the arms. Mm. And I can't show the arms. Or you have to walk backwards, and it's, <laughs> yeah. or you could just stay, stay on the bed and just never get up, yeah. just in the morning early. And it is. It, I totally... But you did it in Splash. I did, for the money. Um, <laughs> that was brave. Well, there and you it wasn't are. Hot <laughs> that costume, can I just say, I would like to call a swimming frock. Yeah, but it's nice. It's a frock. It's, it's, yeah. Because oh, they, it, it was in the first series, and um, they, uh, we went to a posh shop to buy the costume that had to... And then I insisted on the lace, being a lace person, around the down-below area, because yeah, there is yeah. nothing worse, is there, ladies and gentlemen, than... Uh, revealing the down below no. with no. the camera close. <laughs> and so I had the frock, but in the second series, they didn't allow people to have the frock. So I was lucky. To, in that way, I was lucky. What was the rest scarier, of it was the dive or the, <laughs> you know, being in your cosy in front of all these people? Well, the thing is, what I don't know what um, you strong women do. I go into denial um, when you have to do something. I don't know why I did it, because now I've got a bigger fear of heights just now than I had before. <laughs> well, and so, just thinking about it, it's bringing me out in a kind of uh, rush. <laughs> um, I don't know why I did that. I hadn't done a reality thing. I got the phone call. I was buying Christmas presents. And the money and was there. And you the money yeah. was there. And then she said, there's only one thing you have to dive. And I said, dive where? And she said, into some water. So it was like, yeah, oh, scary. God, I've got, to, I've got to do mm, a dive. Scary. But you know what? To find the positive in all these wonderful mm. things you're talking about, you just go, I never thought I would be able to do that. Mm. And I did. So That's it does. Yeah. So in a small, personal way, there's a triumph. It's facing your fear. Facing your fear, and in an embarrassingly humiliating way where it trended on Twitter, which is the only time I've ever managed to trend on Twitter, because <laughs> I'm a bit random, it was, there was a very large middle-aged woman with a large, and with hair looking like a cow, uh, coming up from the water. <laughs> so maybe that wasn't so positive. Ah. So is this why you've uh, taken the slightly quieter life of writing now, because you've got your book We're out, losing now. it? Not at all. Um, you look really I, good at it. Well, yeah. it's very kind, not as good as... It's not a competition, because everyone is really nice to each other on this programme, I've heard. Um, no, I think it's really nice to be uh, enjoying what you're doing in your middle age. And I just love, I really genuinely love writing books because mm. nobody can be mean to you. I mean, you do this. You know, you're in your home, writing away. I I'm not talented like you like well, that. I, I can't believe I've heard speak, that from Miss Price. Speaking of, a uh, you know, dictaphone, I don't sit there and write it mm. like you do. No, oh, I have a special it. help me But do then that. that's quite good for comedians as well, isn't mm. it? Because you've got the timing and the mm. rhythm. And I think doing stand-up helped me try and get a sort of not-too-long a sentence. Anyway, people seem to like the book. Yeah. And, Helena, with the book, you say that you can relate to the lead character of Millie very well. Why is that? <laughs> and there's a little knowing wink. Go there. on, I know. So, I know. Uh, so it's, it's not... I don't do the autobiography thing because mm. I would just lose the will to live. I can't remember who I was sleeping with in the 80s and <laughs> who cares anyway. <laughs> So, um, I'm not Division A, it's K. K Division is a fine place to be. Uh, very self-aware. Uh, so, I thought, OK, the thing had I have been divorced, I have been desperate at various times, slightly desperate now, I'm feeling it in my voice. And then, what was the other one? Divorced, desperate... In debt. In debt. In debt. And so, yeah, yeah, of course, in debt. Freelance people are always in debt, always live on credit. It's normal. So, best not to be depressed. So, I got offered by a real company some money to lose some weight yeah. in, a, in a time frame. And it really did happen. Uh, and so then it just it was just one story. Is she going to do it or is she not in the time frame? But you've done it and I'm quite jealous and <laughs> admiring. No, mm. it's not about me, it's about you. But the weight issues in the book, you deal with, obviously, these slimming pills. Oh, and have you yeah. actually tried the slimming pills yourself? Oh, my word. So everything, all the diet things, and I, perhaps some of us have done some of them in our lifetime. Um, I remember I was a social worker at the time. It was a job before I was a comedian. Oh, not comedian. There's a horrible person on Twitter saying all oh, comedians are not funny. So so I'm not funny. I'm only funny when, uh, when I feel like it. <laughs> um, and so I was a social worker, and I um, got the injections up your thing, Harley Street person. Wow. And I was size 10, and that was the only what time I ever... Wow. Would, it just makes you talk even faster than now, so you can imagine what I was like. <laughs> and people are going, Helen, are you OK? I go, yeah, I'm fine. What's the problem? This is doing a hoovering. And, doing. <laughs> and um, so I would do... I've probably done most things, because all my life, weight... I look in the mirror, OK, what woman looks in the mirror in the morning and goes, 
Wow. Lovely. Mm, gorgeous. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, stunning. <laughs> I d have not met even sort of be why... beautiful people probably don't do that. And why? But why have you... Is it because you want the instant look so you try all the pills it's a and good the question the quick fix. What? Yeah, yeah. because quick i don't because you know and it's not a kind of real fit mm. you know people say it's about health and you don't want to die it's not that it's just it would be quite nice to not have to avoid looking at the mirror but when i have lost weight on these crash yeah. diets i'm trying one at the moment and i lost some weight before i had fab because of the jacket situation wanted it to do up um and it's just like Oh, it'd be so nice to just. But why does not, it matter? You're like, so clever yeah, and funny. And, uh, but, and well, the the point is that's a good point because when we meet each other in a work situation, whatever, you you go on the aura, you go on the vibe. You don't go what size can't like you because mm -hmm. I think you're a twelve. Uh oh, can't talk to size twelves. <laughs> so you don't think that. You pick up a vibe, and I know that rationally. But I think it's just a kind of. I just avoid mirrors. And it would be nice to have a flat stomach, and you've done it. And but there are other things. Believe like, me, this is not flat, Helen. And, and Believe you, me. You see, and then there's that. There's layering of insecurity. Yeah, so yeah. maybe the conclusion is, you know, whatever we look like, we're still going to be a bit critical. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces, and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.